How we doing guys, this is FIFA Lords here and today I am bringing you a breakdown of this formation of how different chem no, chemistry styles, how different work rates will slightly affect how you play the game and how you can use that to your advantage, see if it sounds right for you, do you want to be that guy that plays in the midfield, builds it up, do you want to see the guys running down the pitch, we'll bring that to you later in this squad builder. Now in goal I have Sirigu, he is 6 foot 4 which is great and his diving, his reflex positioning is almost second to none, he's absolutely amazing in that situation, however He's got acrobatic save technique and along with the low handling he's gonna concede some annoying rebound goals but when you've got Thiago Silva there he is picking up the scraps when Thiago Silva is at your center back people can't get past him now on when he's marking them though when he's around them if obviously if he's not there they're gonna they're gonna go and they're gonna get good opportunities and that does happen with the Marquinhos now he will be a good player in a couple of years However, at the moment, not so much because he is just, he's six foot, but he can't jump. So you will concede some annoying over the tops and headers. Now, the centre backs, they have to have either high, medium, sorry, medium, high, high, low, high, or medium, medium work rates. No high work rate, no high attacking work rate. But yeah, it's only left back, right back. I mean, I got Clichy, you know about Clichy. But here is Lopez. Lopez, absolutely amazing player. 3 star weight for 3 star skills, 83 pace and 6 foot tall for a right back. Now both my right backs have the high medium work rate. Um, so they push up the pitch and they can, they, sometimes it's annoying for the counter attack but they create more opportunities than they concede. So Martinho, uh, he's great, I mean he's got the 4 star weak foot, he's high high, that's very important. Now what this means, he is back defending the ball, that's only 5 defence, then he pushes up with a bit of pace. He can take a half decent shot but his passing second to none which is why he has got 13 assists and he has even got one goal in there. Now on the left side we have Matuidi, annoying skill moves but again high high, he's got good defending, he's got a uh, shot but he's got good pace, good heading, good passing so he gets he gets down, he defends the ball, he passes up and he creates 10 assists. Now if you have high medium work rates you're gonna, your centre backs are going to, centre defensive mids are going to be pushing up the pitch and you can create some good pass, some good sweat in the opponent's half if they got the reverse, the the medium high, you're going to create those opportunities in your like in your own half on the middle of the pitch. You can do a lot of passing, and those centre backs will track back quicker to stop the counter. Now we have got Ibrahimovic as a cam. Oh my God, six foot five, five star skill moves, 94 shot, 84 heading. He is the inform, 92 rated, of course, and he's amazing. Medium low, very important work rate. You want your scam to be in that position to create plays, to take opportunities and to make skills. And medium low is what you need for this position in this formation. Left side, we got Perez. Perez, amazing, four weak foot, four skill moves, 10 assists, 11 goals, 86 pace, 79 shooting, 86 dribbling. His medium, medium work rate means on that left side, you're gonna create a lot of opportunities Matuidi, Ibra, Perez, they're going to pass them around and suddenly on the right side you've got this high low work rate from Figo and you're going to see him sometimes running down the pitch, switch the pitch, get the goal, 83 pace, he can get there quick, 80 shooty, un underrated just like Perez earlier, their shooting is so underrated, it's much better than that and 87 passing, so he's going to create great opportunities as well, which is why he has got 12 goals and 16 assists on that right mid position. Now, you can have both high-low, but then it's a bit harder to get that build-up play in the middle. Uh, medium, medium, that's if you have both of them, if both your midfielders, left and right, have that. You're going to have a lot of sweaty play in the middle. You're going to create lots of good opportunities. Depends what you're looking for. Now, Cloiver, amazing lone striker. This is another one. You can't change the work rate here. It has to be high-low for these single strikers. They need to constantly be making runs, and Cloiver at six foot two, he does that so well. Now let's get some pros and pro uh, sorry pros and cons of this squad. Con, big con is that centre back Marquinhos. He's gonna really annoy you along with the acrobatic stay style, the goalkeeper. The rest of the team really strong. Does lack a little bit of skill from the CDMs, but they can make up with it with their work rates and their positioning, their defending, passing. It's all good. Now you're gonna score a lot of goals with Cloiver, with Figo, with Perez, and with Ibra. So this team, I would definitely recommend to you guys if. If you can, you don't have to get this version, you can change it around a little bit to make it a bit cheaper. And you don't have to use Legends, you can use other OP players. Now, I am going to be bringing you some epic squad builders and team of the season review. So stay in tune for that and I'll see you next time. This is FIFA Lords here and enjoy the rest of your day.